Bird Dogs Afield visits Ithaca at SHOT Show 2010. We're in the Ithaca gun booth here, and I gotta tell you, if there's a traditional name in bird hunting in this country, it is Ithaca. We're here with Mike Farrell. Mike is with Ithaca, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the rebirth of Ithaca. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we acquired Ithaca Gun Company back in June of 2007. And at that time, we basically had a name. From there, what we wanted to do is rebir rebirth the Ithaca Gun Company. Starting from scratch, we wanted to come back and say we wanted to build the finest American-made shotgun possible, using all American-made components and employees, and also build this under one roof and not have it all subbed up. Uh, it took us about a year and a half to figure out how to do that. It was more easier said than done from that standpoint. Uh, from there, then we went on to and hiring the employees, finding machinery, uh, and about a year, year and a half, we started actually producing the guns and shipping them out the door. Uh, in this day and age, everybody's trying to figure out how to make these things cheaper. We want to find out how to make them better. That's what a wonderful philosophy, and I believe that because Ithaca is such a strong name. Uh, Mike, is this a new product right here? Uh, yes, it is, Paul. Actually, we introduced this here at the SHOT Show at 2010 down here. Uh, we went out and we decided we wanted to build an over on their shotgun. Uh, we're probably maybe only the second company that really makes an over on their shotgun in America here. Uh, one of the things we wanted to look at was that uh, with our technology net, uh, if you didn't know, back in the 20s net, Ithaca made a gun that was called the Dickerbocker. It was a single barrel trap gun and the Annie Oakley gun that she shot and competitively with. Well, that gun has been shot for a million rounds and still holds tight and just smooth as ever the day one. What we did is we took that basic frame and design and tried to figure out how to put two barrels on it and that's what we did here. And actually what it is, it is a fully free floating barrel setup. You know, most over and unders you shoot a lot, they get halt, hot and they start bulging out, you lose that point of impact. Well, we actually have done that, being free floating, that these barrels, instead of expanding this way, you know, up and down on it, the barrels will actually expand out, so you never lose that point of impact off of it. What, what gauge does this come in? Uh, right now, this is a 12 gauge, and we'll have the 20 gauge very soon with this to go along with this. Then in the future, we'll be building the sub-gauge frames on our own frames and uh, monoblocks. Wonderful. Well, Mike, thank you so much. I'm going to give a little promotion here. Mike has been kind enough to donate a Model 37 to the Bird Dogs Afield email club. So if you go to our website, that's birddogsafield.com, and sign up for our email club, you have a chance to win a Model 37, courtesy of Mike and Ithaca Gun Company. You'll love it, so try to do that. Again, Mike, thanks so much for your time. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Bird Dogs Afield, brought to you in part by... Native Performance Dog Food, the official dog food of Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever. Irish Setter by Red Wing Legendary Performance, bred for sport and available at Kittery Trading Post or your favorite Irish Setter dealer. RST, manufacturer of short chamber, low pressure shot shells. Tech Mix, manufacturer of canine restart energy bars and more for sporting dogs. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment.